Since the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001, we as a department have adapted and transformed into a counterterrorism police department. The utilization of explosive protection canines is a key aspect of our commitment to providing the highest degree of public safety to the men and women traversing through our facilities. These canine teams strategically enhance our public safety and counterterrorism security efforts every day at each Port Authority facility. In honor of those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice on September 11, 2001, or as a result of their rescue and recovery efforts at the World Trade Center site, our new canine dogs here today have been named in their honor. I want to uh, thank our 9-11 families that are here today. Today's a special day. Uh, as you know, these uh, teams have been named after some of our fallen comrades that uh, as we approach the 20th anniversary of 9-11, we still hold that moniker. We will never forget the service uh, and the sacrifice that those officers made and the families continue to make each and every day missing them. So um, we are hoping you know, a tribute such as this is a little bit uh, of solace that can extend the legacy of their service within the Port Authority and know that they are never forgotten with us and we carry their names each and every day. Um, you know, I'd be remiss if I did not mention uh, what happened overseas and, you know, uh, the loss of our Marines and uh, servicemen. Uh, you know, the situation continues to unravel and a day like this uh, couldn't be the timing couldn't be any better to graduate explosive canines within the Port Authority because everybody knows the mission that we are under and the constant threat of the environment in the homeland right now that we have to continue to protect. Uh, we are, as everybody knows from the Port Authority, the only agency that's been attacked three times by terrorists. We've had in LaGuardia in the 70s and then the Trade Center in 93 and obviously in 2001. So the mission of these canine teams is critically important. The job that they have to do each and every day is critically important. They cannot have a bad day. If they miss something, catastrophic events could happen, and they know that, and that is something that we expect them to be highly trained, highly professional, and dedicated to the mission that they have to do. The families that are involved right now that are taking these canines into their homes also um, deserve our thanks. We greatly appreciate you accepting these dogs into or these canines into your house and it is very important that they remain service dogs. They're not pets in the house, uh, they are service dogs and they're there to serve a mission uh, but they are part of your family now and I thank the families not only for enduring the 12 weeks of training but what they're going to have to go through each and every day knowing the job that is out there uh, and what these officers have to do so I, I do thank the families. To our graduates, um, Today, I thank them and for their dedication for taking on this mission and doing this. It's a special person that can do this job and dedicate themselves with a canine partner, knowing the enormous impact that their job has on everything that we do. You look at the hangar that we have here, the airport, you hear the planes taking off, whether it's aviation, whether it's the pad system, the bus terminal, the ports, it doesn't matter what facility is. We have to be on our game each and every day. So these officers have trained very hard for the last 12 weeks. Weeks. We congratulate them for their accomplishment and I look forward for all the advances and what they're going to do in their future with their career. So thank you to them. The following police officers along with their canine partners have successfully obtained the required proficiency in basic explosive detection. The following handler is not present today but their canine partner will be recognized for successfully completing the training. Police officer William Gear and canine I'm sorry, Police Officer Jose Serrano and K-9 Mack. K-9 Mack is named in honor of Police Officer Donald J. McIntyre, Shield 1873, whose last assignment was to PATH Command. K-9 Mack is a German Shepherd born on September 28, 2019 in Hungary. We're very honored that the, a dog is being named after my dad. Um, it brings up a lot of memories, especially as the 20th anniversary of September 11th approaches, and we just want the dog and the handler to stay safe and protect all Americans who are traveling. We're very honored that the Port Authority 
recognized uh, my father's sacrifice in naming a canine officer after him, especially how he worked canine for years and really enjoyed working with the dogs. I'm very honored that they named a canine dog after my husband. My husband loved working with the dog. Um, he used to say he'd rather work with the dog than other police officers, so that he, he lived for that. Will the family of police officer John M. Cortazzo please stand? Police officer Joseph Benedict and K-9 Tazzo. K-9 Tazzo is named in honor of P.O. John M. Cortazzo, Shield 1648. Officer Cortazzo's last assignment was to this very command, the Special Operations Division K-9 Unit. K-9 Tazzo is a German Shepherd born on February 10th, 2020 in Hungary. I miss my husband every day, but as you know, the anniversaries approach, I can remember exactly what we were doing that day when he went down there and it's just it's just very very hard it just opens up a lot of wounds and it, it's very disheartening to see what's going on in Afghanistan after 20 years especially with the sacrifice so many service members have made and are continuing to make there and after you know so, so much death and destruction that's taken place it's sad to see the boat that we're in it, it's upsetting too that after 20 years American soldiers went over there to risk their lives. Some lost them. They've been away from their families and 20 years later this is the situation we're currently in. To be honest, a lot of younger Americans don't realize how lucky we are to live in this country. You can see on the news there are people in Afghanistan that are standing in sewage and willing to risk their lives that a bomb will go off just to try to get on a plane and come into the country. And America might not be perfect, but it is extremely, ordinarily spectacular that we could live our lives in freedom and that we're safe for the most part every day. And I wish more Americans would realize that, young Americans especially. Um, as far as the fondest memory, um, growing up, I would say all our friends in the neighborhood kids loved that we had a police dog and my dad would come to school and do demonstrations with the dog. Uh, and those are some great memories. One of my fondest memories with the dog would probably be my father coming in to the schools to do the demonstrations and specifically our dog would always hold on to the end of a towel and he'd swing him around in a helicopter motion all my friends really enjoyed it and thought that was a very cool demonstration. Police officer Daniel Dolan and K-9 Romo. K-9 Romo was named in honor of Chief James A. Romito whose last assignment was to headquarters to sports section K-9 Romo is a German Shepherd born on August 21st, 21st, 2019 in Hungary. Will the family of Captain Kathy Mazza Deloche please stand? Police Officer Kenneth Dobry and K-9 Mazza. K-9 Mazza is named in honor of Captain Kathy Mazza Deloche, Shield 21, last assigned to the Port Authority Police Academy. K-9 Mazza is a German Shepherd born on March 14th, 2020 in Hungary. Will the family of police officer Joseph M. Naz Navis please stand? Police officer Stephen Eichner and K-9 Nava. K-9 Nava is named in honor of police officer Joseph M. Navis, Shield 1220, last assigned to Special Operations Division, Emergency Service Unit, PATH. K-9 Nava is a German Shepherd born on November 19th, 2019 in Hungary. This will be the first time we are putting out an award for the K-9 program for the Port Authority Police. Steven Eichner also has a plaque, which he will be named its Top Dog Award, which is his dedication and effort he has put out through training in this class. Thank you very much. The following handler is not present today, but their K-9 partner will be recognized for successfully completing the training. Police Officer William Gear and K-9 Ganja. K-9 Ganja is named the honor of Police Officer Yuhura Ganja Houston, shield number 811, last assigned to the World Trade Center Command. K-9 Ganja is a German Shepherd born on August 26, 2019 in Hungary. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join me in recognizing the families of our fallen members and the graduates. Thank you.